Hello everybody and welcome back to The Quarry with me, Dark Mazda, for Dark Mazda Series Gaming. In the last episode we tackled Chapter 2, um, now we are heading on to Chapter 3. We're going to uh, advance the story and see what happens, so let's continue, let's see what's in store for us this time. She's walked into the woods on her own. I mean, this isn't uh, the best idea you could have had, right? Camera's changed. Left here, or it can go straight on. Like this is the way to go. Should we call back? Nick! Abby? Shout again! I'm over here! Coming! coming. Nick! Hey. Hey. Um. Hi. You, uh. You ran off. Oh, there's something watching them. Go for the honest approach. I think that game just got a little too intense for me. Okay. Yeah, I know what you mean. Direct? Let's be direct. Guess Emma's had a thing for you all along, huh? What? No, no, no way. She was just trying to make Jacob jealous. I was just... Playing along. You seem to enjoy playing along. I enjoyed helping Emma make Jacob jealous. That's about it. Just like that. Mm -hmm. Should we look? Mm -hmm.
Figarelli. Is that a bear? It's too fast. Run! I think we're going to uh, run to camp. Ah! Oh, we've abandoned Nick. It's all going to pot. Tide. Probably sniff us out though. Climb the tree. I think we're just the truth is there. It's a funny name. We just left Nick to his death. It's not you are when you first began. You got you. Now you can hardly stand it though By now you know it's not going to stop It's not going to stop Until you wise up feel bad for leaving no, Nick now going to stop I thought, well, if we leave Nick and we go to help him, we just end up dying ourselves as well, don't we? Technique needs work. Hey. Uh, yeah. Yes, you're done that. Of course. Sneaking down here was a little more fun when we thought we could get caught, huh? Yeah, yeah, I guess. Jacob, I thought we agreed that this, us, was just supposed to be some summer fun. Yeah, no, no. I know, I just... You just love having an audience, huh? Oh, Jacob. I mean, you just, I can't believe you, you fucking Frenched him. You know, in front of everyone. Jesus wept. French, are we 12? No, but Nick is. Kind of. 
You know, I love the guy, but I don't think he's actually ever seen a girl naked before. Well, I hate to break it to you, but he just had his tongue down my throat, and he definitely knew what to do with it. <laughs> you, you really love fucking with me, huh? Lighten up, Sourpuss, please. This is not how the night was supposed to go. What? You know what? Nothing. No Nothing. Never mind. Hey, that's mine! Yeah, well, finders keepers. I'm getting it back tomorrow. Fine. You can stand here, sulking. Driving yourself crazy imagining Nick's tongue in my mouth. Oh, come on. Or you can go grab us some towels. What do you need towels for? Well, we agreed. Some are fun, right? Apparently, summer is not quite over. Okay. I oh, don't fall for it, mate. She's an awful lass. Star tarot card. It's quite easy to find. It's behind here. recent newspaper article about two hikers who went missing in these woods. As of the date of publication, they haven't been found. wonder if it was near here. Jacket and Thacket, huh? Oh, well, Jacket must mean Mr. H. Chris Hackett. Who the hell is Thacket? Zero. You dick. God, what the hell? Just get back down here, Jacob. Hang on, the stuff we're looking at. What are these numbers? Manageable, but unsustainable sailing rules remind that for counselors keep all boats rinsed after use be vigilant no swimming properly store boats to avoid damage all campers must wear life jackets boats capsize remove kids from lake immediately do not jump in after them sail over and retrieve from water it 
some binoculars. Someone up there? Yeah, I'm gonna go with probably everything's fine. Right, let's get ourselves back down there. It's enough creepy for one session. Okay, well, I guess we could just, like, drip dry, or I mean, we could shake it out doggy style. Wow, you really know how to talk to a girl, don't you? <laughs> Look, you can't just pretend that it didn't happen. Oh, but I can, because, you see, oh, help, help, I'm, I'm drowning, and I, I need a big, strong, not at all insecure man to come save me. <laughs> Let's be enthusiastic. Okay. I should have said ask Nick this. this. A female in need? Fear not, fragile thing, for Hurricane Jake is here! Cannonball! Oh, oh, oh. Cold, cold, cold. Oh, cold. Oh. Hurricane Jake? <laughs> it's not the promised land, but I'm sure this room is planned. Oh, okay. Okay, now you're gonna get it. See? <laughs> <laughs> hey! Switch! Oh, stop being a uh, crap! Attack! <laughs> Dick move. Okay, hey, look, <clears throat> check this out. Uh, okay. <sighs> Take a picture of me. Uh, <laughs> yeah, for your, like, um, little subscribers or whatever, top ten guys who will keep you satisfied at summer camp. <laughs> oh, so I get nine more? What? Didn't sound right. Oh, shit, the road already. Oh, gotta be fucking kidding me. <sighs> Diving in. Jacob? Oh, Dick.
Oh crap. Grab it. Bloated corpse, a bloated decomposing corpse chained to the bottom of the lake. Oh dear. Uh, detangle. Yeah, get out of that water, man. <laughs> Shit. That was some mighty fine social disruption there, Caitlin, I have to say. Ah, or was it just the nudge that Abby needed? You're an evil genius. Who do you think is gonna make the first move? Nick or Abby? Ooh, good cue. My bet's on either. I don't know, Nick's got the beast in him. Uh, if by beast you mean some sort of mild-mannered baby deer. Hey, don't let the cute preppy aesthetic fool you. It's like a steel barbecue grill under that shirt. <laughs> so, you noticed that too, huh? So, what do you guys want to do now? We can keep playing. Yeah? Just the three of us? Alright, Dylan. Truth or... Uh, I sound like Abby. Oh my gosh. Uh, we gotta help her. <laughs> Wait, where did it come from? This way. Come on. Abby! Help! Please! Nick! Help him! Hey! What happened? Abby, what happened? Brian! We gotta know what... Well, she needs help. Give her a second. Go after Nick! Go! Okay, that's it, Dave. Let's okay. Go for it. I got this. That shotgun's got a hell of a spread. Be careful. Okay, okay. All right. Well, at least she made it back, all right. Going for it, Rambo, yeah. Uh, no, we'll follow the path. Follow the path. Shortcuts normally lead to trouble. Be careful. Still all right. Hey, get the fuck off of him! Stop! Stop! I'll shoot. 
Wow, so we saved him then. God, that was intense. Jacob, what are you doing? Don't call out. No. So you call out anywhere? Oh dear. Somebody's coming. Pleading. Oh, please, please, man, just, just let me down, okay? Just don't hurt me, please. Oh, Jesus Christ, what the fuck are you doing? Hope he's friendly. If not, you're dead. God, son of a bitch. Oh, what are you doing? Shh. Quiet. No, no, we'll be quiet. Helps if you close your eyes. Oh, oh. What are you doing? Shh. Stop. Help. Shh. Help. Tastes bad, don't it? It's for your own good. Where are you off to now, girly? up there or a bar or something what the hell is going on <laughs> it's obviously about werewolves isn't it so well, this is the end of the chapter seems like just to. a blink and you're back to see me again so then what have we got we got the star it's the star Stars, stars in the night, sky, beacons of light, dreams of hope, purpose, or a reminder of our insignificance, fear of despair, 
trust in the light of the star, with it comes clarity. And sometimes, poof. Remember, there's always more than meets the eye. Would you like me to show you? Uh, no, let's move on again. No? Okay. I'd like to go in if blind. That's what you want. Back to it then. Back to Hackett's Quarry. Back to Hackett's Quarry you go. Oh, the fun you'll have. So guys, that is going to be it for this episode of The Quarry. That was Chapter 3 complete. And, um, yeah, sometimes when you're presented with those options of doing certain things, um, you're thinking on the spot, and maybe we should have tried to help Nick. Um, maybe we should have let the hunter pour the whatever it was onto him. It looked as though it might have been some sort of um, kind of like antidote or something. Um, not entirely sure there. Um, but we don't have enough information to make these decisions. So them hunters, who are they? If they didn't want us to interfere then maybe they should give us a little bit more information about what they're doing um you know if we're not the problem like the characters that we're playing as they should be making that known and not being like having this um mysteriousness about them and um, that way we can make a bit more of an informed decision about what's going on um yeah so we've got abby to safety it looks as though nick's going to be okay um he may have been wounded I'm not sure whether um, if he's been attacked by a werewolf, that if he's been bitten or whatever, if he's going to turn into one himself. I mean, that could be a possibility. Um, but we stopped Abby from getting killed, and we stopped um, Jacob um, for wait. Well, you know, we cut him down from the trap. Anyway, if we've if you've enjoyed the episode, give me a like and a sub. Um, what would you have done differently? I kind of had a bit of a head fart and. Also, as well with Jacob, like, maybe I should have been a bit harsher with Emma. And, like, said, you know what, just screw you, you know, you're playing, playing with me feelings. I don't really want to know you. It shouldn't be this difficult to be with somebody that you like, you know what I mean? It's, um, just let her wallow in her own self-proclaimed fame and what have you know. Anyway, that's going to be it for this episode. Join me next time when we continue with Chapter 4. Uh, and until then, that's goodbye from me, and I will see you on the, on the flip side.